All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start talking about 2D problems. So if we have a reservoir in 2D, obviously now we could have some arbitrary shape in two dimensions. And in two dimensions, uh, we have a choice about how we want to sort of view the reservoir. So if we view the reservoir uh, in what's called an aerial view, Well, in this case, then, we're looking down as if we're looking down on the reservoir for the sky. And we're um, interested in flow, uh, you know, fluid flow in the plane of the Earth, if you will. And so in this case, we, we don't worry about gravity. So the, the gravity vector uh, is actually just into the board for an aerial view. And then you could also have a side view, side view, and in this case then gravity would act, right? So now we're looking at the side of the reservoir and we would actually consider, you know, the effect that gravity might have uh, for the fluid flow. So when we, uh, for now we're only going to consider uh, aerial view just so we don't have to deal with gravity, just to make things simple as we derive the equations. When we discretize a 2D reservoir, uh, we're going to introduce some discretization error. So in one dimension, you know, essentially our reservoir is a line segment, effectively. And so there's no discretization error. We can, we can always chop up a line segment into perfectly, uh, into uh, chunks that perfectly conform to the length of the line segment. But uh, we can't do that in two dimensions, right? And so if we... Uh, do the simplest thing, which is what we're going to start with, is we're going to discretize into rectangles, essentially. Um, so we're going to basically map a grid over our reservoir. So for the moment, we're going to limit ourselves to rectangles. So we're going to have discretization error for essentially every domain that's not a rectangle. Uh, like, for example, this one. Um, if we and this one. Uh, so any, any little partial area that, that uh, is not a perfect rectangle will be considered discretization error. Right? So this is because it, our our discretization does not conform exactly to the reservoir. So all of these kind of shaded errors, areas would be error that we're introducing due to the discretization. Of course, we can do more complex discretizations, and we'll look at some of those later in the class. For example, instead of having a perfect rectangle, you could have a, poly a polyhedron like that um, would conform much better. I mean, there's still going to be some discretization error, but uh, we can minimize that with better discretization. So, but initially, we're just going to limit ourselves to rectangles. And for the simple ex example uh, of a two-dimensional reservoir, let's just look at an actual rectangular domain. So in that case, uh, we can discretize it exactly with rectangles. And in my example here, we'll look at sort of nine grid blocks. Okay. Um, now we have two directions. We, we have an x direction and a y direction, x and y. And we're going to have two labeling schemes, right? So uh, one scheme, we'll just actually number the grid blocks starting in the lower left corner, uh, and moving to the right as you would read, and then going up. So in other words, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right, so that's one way, uh, and, and so in this case, we'll actually, uh, when I use the symbol L, I'm referring to the grid block number. So L equals 0, L equals 1. Oh, gosh. Can't count. <laughs> L equals 2, L equals 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
So when I, when I use the symbol L, I'm, t I'm re referring to the actual grid block number. Um, we can also identify any grid block by its indices along, say, the x and the y direction, and we'll label those like i equals 0, i equals 1, i equals 2, referring to these three columns, and j equals 0, j equals 1, j equals 2, referring to these three rows. Okay. So there's actually a mapping between these uh, two grid numbering systems, and that is that any, any grid block L can be identified by J times NX um, plus I, where NX is the, is the number of grid blocks in the x direction. Uh, likewise, we'll have an ny that is also the number of grid blocks in the y direction. So in our example here, in our example here, nx equals 3, ny equals 3. Right? And of course, there, there's no reason those have to be equal. They, you, know, you could have a very long narrow uh, reservoir where uh, you know it's a long slender rectangle and you might have many more uh, in the x direction than the y or vice versa okay so 